Hello and welcome to Noble Tech. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wired Hatters. And a big thank you to the Wired Hatters for sending me these products for review. The Wired Hatters is a Germany-based company that blends cybersecurity with hardware hacking. Their mission is to empower ethical hackers and researchers with professional-grade tools for radio frequency analysis, Wi-Fi auditing, embedded testing, and more. Their products are designed to integrate seamlessly with platforms like Flipper Zero, HackRF, and other tool chains, creating a hands-on ecosystem for real-world testing. Going over to the Wired Hatters website, we can see that in their own words, the Wired Hatters is where cybersecurity meets hardware innovation. The Wired Hatters don't just sell hardware, they build an ecosystem for real-world testing and technical growth. The Wired Hatters stands for clear specifications, transparent guidance, and a commitment to lawful, ethical use in cybersecurity education and assessment. Scrolling down, we can see the top products are the Ultimate Marauder, the BMO NRF 2.4 GHz, the ESP Rocket, and the 5 volt sub GHz booster module. So first, let's take a look at the Ultimate Marauder. I'd also just like to point out that the Wired Hatters was formerly known as Flipper Hub, but this name is no longer used. The custom Ultimate Marauder board by Billy Green of the Wired Hatters is an advanced board that comes with a 3D printed case. Clearly, the device is compatible with the Flipper Zero. The Ultimate Marauder comes with dual ESP32 chips. The first is an ESP32W Room UE, which is dedicated to managing the touchscreen interface running Marauder. The second is an ESP32W Rover. This is controlled by the Flipper Zero for seamless integration. The device also has onboard GPS functionality. It has an internal ceramic GPS antenna and also an external SMA connector. The onboard GPS can only operate independently. This means using this switch just here, you can switch between which ESP32 chip the GPS is used on. Both of the ESP32 chips come pre-flashed with the latest Marauder firmware. The key features of the Ultimate Marauder include Wi-Fi scanning and monitoring, packet sniffing and injection, access point detection, evil portal, SSID cloning, beacon spamming, interface and control, and a user-friendly interface with an LCD display for easy operation. It also has touchscreen control for intuitive and straightforward navigation. You press the bottom of the screen to go down, you press the top of the screen to go up, and you press the middle button to select. Included with the Ultimate Marauder are two Wi-Fi antennas for both ESP32 chips, a sleek and protective 3D printed case, an SD card slot for data logging and firmware updates, a GPS switch to switch the GPS between either of the ESP32 chips. And also, each of the ESP32 chips has a USB-C port. On the back it's a little hard to see, but you have the reset and the boot buttons just here. This board excels in Wi-Fi pen testing, deauthentication attacks, packet sniffing, and Bluetooth analysis. It's ideal for users who want a ready-to-go solution without needing to flash firmware or solder components. The Ultimate Marauder also comes with a stand and pin protector, which says the Ultimate Marauder on one side and Flipper Hub on the other. And with the pin protector connected, you can then stand your device for display purposes. So now let's take a look at the BMO NRF 2.4 GHz. This is mouse jacking and beyond. The BMO NRF module is a compact, high-powered 2.4 GHz transceiver built around the Nordic NRF24 L01P chipset. The key features include an eByte E01 2G4 M27SX module, which delivers up to 27 dBm or 500 milliwatts of output power, long-range communication, which is ideal for mouse jacking, remote control hijacking, and wireless sniffing, and seamless integration for radio frequency experimentation with the Flipper Zero. If I click on channel scan here, you can see that the LED lights glow, and you have a little switch just here, where you can select between having the lights on and off. So there's off, and carefully, there we have on. So using NRF24 on the Flipper Zero, using Momentum firmware on the Flipper Zero, we could select channel scan, and it's set to 2400 megahertz. So I can click scan on this. We can see that it's picking up some frequencies, and if I now move around my wireless mouse, We can see there that that's having a little bit of an impact. So if I select Scanner, 
and start sniff. Let's see if this works if I move my mouse around. Now, like many before me, I've not been successful in picking up any of my wireless devices, but they do seem to be protected from this kind of exploit. We also have the NRF24 sniffer. The BMO NRF 2.4 GHz module is perfect for exploring the 2.4 GHz ISM band, which includes wireless keyboards, mice, and other low-power devices. NRF 2.4 GHz, or otherwise known as NRF 24, is widely used for wireless communication in embedded systems. It works on the 2.4 GHz ISM band frequency, which is the same as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The protocol uses enhanced shock burst for efficient packet handling. The range is typically 50 to 200 feet indoors, and the data rate is up to 2 megabytes per second. The communication is via SPI interface with microcontrollers, and the applications include mouse jacking, wireless sensors, remote controls, and low-power IoT devices. The protocol supports multiple channels and can act as a multi-siever, receiving data from multiple transmitters. It's popular in Arduino projects and Flipper Zero modules due to its low cost and versatility. Now let's take a look at the ESP Rocket. The ESP Rocket is another Flipper compatible module from Wired Hatters designed for digital exploration. It features an ESP32W Room UE chip, which is reliable and versatile. It has a USB C interface for easy flashing and connectivity, an external SMA antenna for enhanced signal reception, and it's also GPS module compatible, which means you have the option to solder on your own GPS for war driving. The ESP32 Rocket also comes pre-installed with Marauder firmware. The schematics are also available for a printable protective case for the ESP Rocket. The case is adorably in the shape of a half rocket. This board is a great choice for users who want a compact ESP32 Marauder device. It lies flush with the Flipper Zero and has an external SMA antenna for enhanced signal capability. This Flipper Zero board is a great choice for users who want a compact, GPS-ready module for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth reconnaissance. Going back over to the website, we can see that the Ultimate Marauder is just under €160. Euros. That excludes sales tax and shipping. The BMO NRF 2.4 GHz is between €45 and €50. Euro. And the ESP Rocket is between €45 and €50. Euro. In a previous video, I also did a review on the AWOC Dual Touch. As you can see in a side by side comparison, both the AWOC Dual Touch version 3 and the Ultimate Marauder by the Wired Hatters are very similar in functionality, both including two ESP32 chips, both also including GPS. But as you can see, the Ultimate Marauder has a much larger display. The Ultimate Marauder also comes with an external SMA connector for the GPS, whereas this is something you need to add on the AWOC Dual Touch version 3. Functionality-wise, they're both very similar. The Wired Hatters ecosystem is a treasure trove for cybersecurity enthusiasts. Whether you're into Wi-Fi pen testing, radio frequency exploration, or embedded hacking, their modules offer plug-and-play convenience with professional-grade capabilities. The Ultimate Marauder is best for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth pen testing with minimal setup. The BMO NRF is ideal for radio frequency hijacking and long-range 2.4 GHz experiments and the ESP Rocket, which is compact, GPS-ready, and versatile for signal analysis of both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The Wired Hatters is definitely a company to check out, and if you want to learn more, you can find a link in the description. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, and maybe subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell if you want to see more. I've been Og, this has been Noble Tech, and until next time, stay curious and take care.